Mechanicalism. I'm your host, Former Thrax, here to uh, nonchalantly traipse around a ruined earth and, um, you know, set things on fire. That's that's the goal. Ah, sip some tea, kill some zombies. Uh, have a good time. Okay. Uh, let's see. Voice is working. Pointer's working. Uh, camera's working. Notifications out. I think we're good. I think we're good. Hope everybody's having a good uh, New Year's Eve. New Year? Is it? Is it? Is it the New Year in in the Lounge Down Under yet? <laughs> I don't know the exact time frames for that. Uh, is Australia hit the New Year yet? Sometime soon, if not, I'm sure. Of course, I'm streaming today. Do I give you the impression I'm a big party person? <laughs> if so, that is an incorrect impression. Just New Year's Eve. <clears throat> we'll be done by 8 p.m. my time. <laughs> Just entered 2022 a minute ago. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we'll have to deal with that. Happy New Year. Happy New Year's Eve. As uh, whichever may apply for your particular time zone. In the cataclysm, it's spring. Spring day 66. We're five days in. Uh, so, when we left off, we had this amusing situation. You know, we were just roaming around as we do in the dark. Our main productive time period, not even midnight yet. Lo and behold, Block Op Zombie shows up. Which is not great. He's not super dangerous for us. He's tough, but he's he's not going to get us killed tough. Not him by himself, anyway. Uh, so I'm not too worried about him. I might avoid him. I might fight him. We'll see. Uh, as the mood strikes me here when we get rolling in a few. Yeah, I saw something about the changes to, uh, to chain mail. They made it steel chain mail now. They changed the recipe re ingredients. Uh, there's different kinds, I believe, now. And there's also... Eh, eh, I, 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 I can't remember all the details. But yeah, there's, there's new stuff with the chain mail. I believe it has similar per protection values, although I think chainmail has been modified along with a lot of the other armor pieces. <clears throat> so I'm assuming they, if it hadn't been previously, that they modified it before implementing this. We'll see if we get a hold of some or if we make some. Get some paper mache chainmail going. So yeah, we keep grinding away. More changes. I am up to date. I, uh, I updated like five minutes before I went live. So I'm on the most recent build. I think it released like an hour ago. Uh, we are current. No uh, no errors on load in <laughs> yet. So as, as these challenges go along, I tend to get more and more errors because we keep updating experimental builds. I think the last one, that one went pretty long. It went like 60 episodes. And uh, I think I was up to like four or five errors. Uh, on load in <laughs> just due to the number of changes in the game world uh, over that period of time. Here's the character. For those not aware, anybody that's uh, wandered in all unawares, Maniac Mike, the baseball player. Our uh, psychopathic pyromaniac. Who has not yet begun to set fires. Soon. We're close. Uh, if I remember right, when I was when we left off, I was kind of roaming around trying to get more gas. I got some, and I was kind of hunting around for where I could disassemble something to get a 60 liter tank. And uh, that's when we ran into this guy, I think. Uh, we, we kept finding the scourge of the undead. Now, uh, the, the number one killer of undead now, apparently, is rose bushes <laughs> i forgot to put it i was going to put a post on reddit regarding those rose bushes and the damage they're doing to the zombies now which i assume is tied to the weak point system or something because they're just they're slaughtering zombies all over the place i mean we're finding rose bushes with like six seven dead zombies in them 
uh, killed by the rose bushes, or a combination of the rose bushes and uh, sharp glass in the windows they tried to climb through, but mostly the rose bushes. And then as they revive from other sources and come visit me in their damaged state, they step into the rose bushes again near my house and die again. I'm constantly having these piles of, uh, of recently killed zombies uh, infesting my rose bushes. So it's like every day I have to go make a, a run around the local houses and check all the rose bushes to see how many new zombies that they have uh, they've massacred. Uh, for any new uh, new to mid-level players, I would recommend uh, what Lochnar has just commented. Uh, don't update until you end your current run. really depends on how long you expect your runs to last. If you're dying every day, why not? <laughs> just wait till your run's over and then update. But when you have a run that goes 60 hours, eh, that's, that's a bit of a longer period of time between updates. There could be a lot of updates between then. But for safety... Until you're really familiar with the game, sure. Uh, just wait to update until you uh, you start a new run. Me? Ah, what the hell. I've been live streaming Cataclysm for five years, five and a half years, nonstop, and I have never once lost a challenge due to problems with experimental builds. I've had delay updates a few times. I, I do delay updates if I see something particularly nasty has cropped up in the bug categories. But uh, I've never once in all that time, literally multiple thousands of hours of play, I've never once lost a challenge because of bugs uh, due to experimental updates. So <clears throat> just back up your save, update your game. If it doesn't work, put your save back, revert to the previous build, go on your way. Simple. Uh, you just got to know two things, how to copy a save folder and how to revert your save or your, your build back to the previous version. You know that? You're golden. There's really nothing that can be done. Nothing that can go wrong that's going to hurt you much. I should work in radio or do a podcast? Yeah, I've been told that many, many times. I uh, had a long career in the customer service computer support industry uh, on the low end to begin with, and then uh, supervisory, and then management, and then training, and so on. So I honed my speaking skills there. I can't take credit for the voice. Uh, that is... Uh, Mommy and Daddy are responsible for that combo, but uh, <laughs> everything else was uh, a whole lot of talking. A whole lot of talking on the phone to uh, various levels of people, from the uh, the great unwashed masses to highly uh, trained technicians in the field. Happy New Year. Cheers. Thank you very much. Appreciate that resub. Uh, nope, see, I've already used that one several times, Vendidur. <laughs> That's an old, old saying. I think, it goes, I, I want to say it goes back to George Burns back in the uh, the radio or the early TV days. <laughs> I can't remember if it was him that first said that, quoted that, or uh, if it came from somewhere else. <laughs> That's a, a really old reference, though. That would be a, a face made for radio. <laughs> Okay, enough chitter-chatter, I think. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, get things rolling. We've given enough time so that I can generate algorithmic bonus content on my YouTube channel for people saying, uh, you know, gameplay starts at. <laughs> it's all good. Gives me free comments. Got LFA on your recent playthrough and got weak radioactivity. Does that affect vehicles or only stationary tiles? I'm real fuzzy on the whole radioactivity thing. It's been a while since I had to deal with it. And I uh, I so seldom have had to. I don't have a lot of up-to-date information on just how that affects uh, tiles, vehicle or stationary and so on. I, I can't help you there, unfortunately. I'm not sure even if I had information, it would still be current. It's been so long since I had to deal with it. Just a pretty rare circumstance. Others in chat might uh, might have more info. All right. Uh, if there is anybody brand new that is watching the stream, by the way, and you're new to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, or you don't know what it is and somehow still manage to wind up on my channel, 
Uh, I play this game a lot. I train or teach or advise people how to play the game a lot. I do a lot of tutorial content. I'm always happy to answer questions. So if you're not sure what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, or why I am or am not doing certain things, feel free to ask in chat. I'm happy to uh, pause briefly and explain my, my reasoning, my thought process. Uh, I've played so much that I can no longer see the forest for the trees. I just automatically know a really, really massive amount of stuff about the game and any circumstances I find my character in. So it's sometimes hard for me to communicate why I think something is a situation is dangerous or why I know it's not dangerous. And if you're ever curious, just, just you know, pop me a question. I'll happily explain uh, my reasoning or my circumstances. Um, so yeah, so here we are. We have a uh, Black Ops zombie. This is where we left off our cliffhanger on Friday. We are uh, fairly heavily damaged in our torso location. That's bad. We uh, we don't want that. And he's a fairly dangerous enemy, as you can see by the coloring of his name in the sidebar. If you didn't know, the color of the name indicates their general danger level. Every enemy is assigned a value for their uh, assumed danger level. It's just a number that's put on the zombies or the enemies. Uh, so this one's not the darkest red, but he's in the middle of the pack, so he's fairly dangerous. But uh, we can either avoid him or fight him, depending on how a fight goes. Eh, we take a little bit of damage, I think, but I wouldn't be too concerned about it. Uh, but there's no particular reason for me to kill him. Small chance we could get a grenade or... That's about it, really. Most of the other stuff he would have, I don't really care about. And I don't have a big need for grenades right now anyway. It would cause more of a distraction and draw enemies to me then it would be a benefit so i've got very specific situations that i would use a grenade in and i can't think of any occurring here in the near future therefore i will probably just avoid him and deal with him later when we're not quite so uh, so damaged ah no 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 i am not the reason for your crippling cdd addiction <laughs> You are the reason for your crippling CDDA addiction. Uh, uh, is that still part of the smoke damage or did we fix most? I think we fixed most of the smoke damage. I th think we were back in the green, but then I took a few unlucky hits when we went out this night and they put me back in the yellow. Yeah, there's a really small chance of the night vision. That is correct. But he's not going anywhere. He'll still be in the area. We'll we'll kill him later. I'm just wondering where he came from. I'm curious. I commented on uh, on Monday's stream that there might be a soldier body site somewhere in the area. And I'm hopeful that there is and I can find it. Because you don't normally see just black ops zombies just wandering around in the middle of the city uh, for no particular reason. They're not usually part of any of the spawn point groups for these types of buildings uh, would include that kind of a zombie. So I'm hopeful there's a body site somewhere I just haven't stumbled across yet. And we've been doing most of our looking around at night, so it's pretty easy for me to not have seen it. <laughs> I'd have to roll right over top of one of the uh, the zombies or the, uh, the the rifles and that. So, uh, But we'll see. I'm not big into gunplay in these mega city challenges. Uh, we need to be quiet, sneaky, and kill stuff stealthily. Any gunfire is just going to attract much, much, much zombies. So we are playing with wandering hordes turned on for this particular challenge. So we've got uh, wandering hordes true. That means that uh, loud noises could draw the horde indicators over my direction. So I don't want that. Gunfire is one of the things that is considered loud noises. But it also means we're always going to have zombies pretty much showing up. There's just such a huge concentration of zombies in the city. It's going to be impossible for me to mostly clear out all of them. Uh, with them shifting around. So I got to decide, are we going to keep looking around in our currently damaged state or am I going to run back into the hole? We haven't quite got our moonlight bonus yet. Enough of it to make this much of an easier proposition. Another day or so. Um, I think I had said 67, 68 is when the real moon bonus starts kicking in and my, my night vision is going to expand out quite a bit. So it's not a terrible thing if I have to go back indoors, get healed up, do some more skill ups. Uh, before we start rolling around again, uh, here's my gear. Uh, my poor Molly pack's been getting hammered again. I still don't think I have the materials I need to repair that thing. Um, we damaged our scrap knuckles a bit. Picked up the Colt Delta Elite recently, which I probably will never fire. Um, oh yeah, we got the wood axe recently. 
a little bit of food. And we've got some gasoline. That's, I think it's 500 per for the uh, Molotovs, if I remember right. Could be wrong, but I think it's 500 per. So, it's enough to get an initial supply of Molotovs, which we can take advantage of. Um, so I'll probably call it good. I think we're going to scurry back into our hole. Do I want to try to fight this guy? I wouldn't mind fighting him if I can get him up into that vehicle, by the way. But let's give it a try. We got full stamina, so we're in good shape. Safe mode off. Start run mode. Get me a few spaces away from him. Then we'll go back to walk mode. I need to get to my get to the vehicle and get the bat in my hands. We can accomplish that. All right, 400 all the way across. Cool. We'll wait for him right here. We'll go ahead and wheel the bat. He's probably like right here hitting the vehicle right now. I need to get him to step into this space. He's a black ops zombie, so he's basically invisible at night until he gets adjacent to me. But we'll just hang out here. Oh, he's going to smash his way in. Oh, well, we're going to have to step over then. Oh, crap. See, that's not good because that zombie can step here and then here. All right, that screws things up a bit. That zombie's only going to take one swing. Okay, let's move to here. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't anticipating all the missing. Uh, yeah. I, I thought I would kill that thing easily and then be able to deal with the guy chasing me. Now I got to get moving again. God dang it. There's the molly back again. Where are you? Miss. All right, screw this. We're out of here. <laughs> this is just not going well. I don't like this at all. All right, let's uh, let's burn some stamina. Get a good head start on him. We'll lead him to the fence line. Oh, the gates are open. And we'll lead him into this house. And we'll lead up here. Through here. Again, the goal is to not lead anything directly back to my base. So my base is right there in that basement. So I never, never, never want to lead via my scent trail or sound or anything else, any zombies in the area, back to my base area. I want to keep that as clear as possible. All right, we'll wait right here, see if we hear anything. Thing seems good. All right, we'll deal with that problem later. Plug that back up. Yeah, that, that went horribly. That went horribly. Just terrible. Better to bail out of there. I wasn't, I wasn't liking the feel of that. Yet another backpack. These things seem to be getting tore up a little faster than I'm used to. Maybe it's because we got zero dodge, effectively, and I'm just always taking the hits. All right, what can we wear this time? That's another molly pack. Nearly shredded. Um, the hiking backpack. I think I'm still short leather. I brought back another leather backpack, so I'll have three, essentially. So let's go ahead and crash one of them for the leather parts. Eight. I think that's exactly how many I need to get the hiking backpack fully repaired. Let's go with uh, that fire. Just to get our our fire uh, bug needs taken care of. Oh, we've got a positive mood swing going on. <laughs> and I enjoyed some codeine. Uh, plus 22. Focus trending to 122 from the current 26. Let's not stand next to the fire. We got lots of candles, so we'll run the candle as well. Uh, activate. Tailor's kit. Repair. Hiking backpack. Still guaranteed. All right, so reinforcing it, we'd probably succeed. We've got quite a bit of a, su a success chance over damage chance advantage. And if it failed, it would just go back to the 100% chance to get it back to full strength. 
But I don't want to burn that many pieces of leather right now. So I'm going to say no to that. Then we're going to put on the hiking backpack again. Then we're going to unload the molly pack. All right, everything went into the hiking backpack. Cool. Ditch the molly pack. All right, so we got that sorted out. Uh, not worried about the other gear. Scrap knuckles. Can you be repaired? I assume you can be soldered or welded. Arc welder? Jeez. There's an arc welder to fix scrap knuckles? Screw that. Just make a new pair. That seems a little silly. Goodbye, scrap knuckles. Hello, scrap knuckles. <laughs> Don't need an arc welder to make one. Just need an arc welder to repair one. Yeah, it's kind of silly. Or rags, for scrap. No problem. Come here, you scrap knuckles. All right, so we got that taken care of. We need more bandaging. I need to not stand next to the fire. Wouldn't want to repeat it the last time. Oh, you can have some of that. You can have some of that. Good enough. All right, so we got our bandaging set. Uh, focus is rising slowly. Rename an item. Baseball bat to Boopinator Jr. Okie dokie. Oh, wait. Wrong item. Uh, I think this is a carve into item. <laughs> Right on an item. Baseball bat. It's a label. Boopinator uh, Jr. All right, there you go. We have Boopinator Jr. ready to go. Are there ways to reduce your scent cloud? There are not realistic ones. You need heavy smoke or gas in order to, to mask it. Or there's a CDM that'll cut it down a bit. But uh, that's realistically the only ways to do it. Cigars don't do it anymore. All right. Uh, so gear repair is done. Dropped all the items. I guess we're back to uh, we're back to learning mode. Um, what's our list look like? We got tailoring to five. I don't need to push it any higher currently. Dodge is mostly going to stay pretty low because of the gear we're going to be wearing. We got fab to four. I still do need to push fab up a little bit higher. And, um, let's see. Piercing weapons for that Chris would be really good. We haven't started working on mechanics yet. And healthcare still too. All right, let's let's uh, let's get healthcare up to uh, three. Then I think I'll switch to either fab to get it up one more level or mechanics. Oops. Don't need to burn all my planks while we're doing that. We still uh we're still overweight. Cool. Let's get working on some more butter. Oh, I guess we can have some fun food while we're at it. Have a tortilla chip and a cookie and a cracker and a chocolate candy. It's fruit. Uh-oh. Craving fire again? I just extinguished the fire. <laughs> like, just now. The hell, man? That's ridiculous. That's quite the hard craving this guy's got. Uh, 
Ah, somebody's come down the stairs yet again. Go ahead and leave the backpack off. We shouldn't need it for this circumstance. Hey, zombie. <laughs> zombie dies. Hmm. Yet yeah, another victim of the Rosebush Massacre. Too big to pick up, huh? Oh, that's because I don't have any carrying space. We'll sit in our comfy chair. You don't know how I get so many basement zombies? Watch any of my other videos where I ever spend time in a basement a basement in a city. <laughs> You'll see it constantly. I'm constantly harping about the ridiculous pathing that has zombies just just in a conga line coming down my basement steps for no reason whatsoever. It's ridiculous. I've demonstrated it dozens of times by now. <laughs> so if it's not happening to anybody else, hey, I'd love to know, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty standard. But you gotta be, I mean, it, it's gotta be reasonably in a situation like this, where you're in the middle of a mega city, wandered, wandering hordes turned on, so it's constantly bringing new zombies into the area. But uh, just the fact that they are supposedly randomly pathing into the house, even though I've cleared the entire area before I come down here, they have apparently pathed all the way randomly through their wandering onto the stairs and decided to come down and visit me. <laughs> just time after time after time. That's really the only time you're going to notice it in, ex in extreme uh, detail like I have demonstrated a bunch. <laughs> you don't get it otherwise. You're uh, out in a basement in an evac shelter or places like that. It's not going to happen. Okay, uh, we're tired again. It is 9 o'clock. I'm going to go till about 11.30, maybe noon, and then we'll sleep. That way we'll wake up right as the sun goes down, hopefully with another half bar of health on our torso, if we're lucky. Uh, so, let's find another candle. I'm going to have to go get some more candles. Although we've got a bunch of toilets over here, I can go smash for the wax. Make, make some. we got four toilets in this place, so... I assume they haven't changed the candle recipe. Did they change the candle recipe? Candle. Uh, oh. No, one wax. Yeah. One wax, some fire, and some thread or string. So it's still easy. So, yeah, I could smash, 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 smash. That's four candles right there, which would last me about a week. <laughs> if you're staying underground, the lighting answer early game is candles. Candles, candles, candles. I get that question fairly often on the discords and uh, Reddit from new players. What's the best solution for light? It's not burning things, it's candles. All right, did we not finish this yet? Are we still working on this thing? Yeah, the roach basements are pretty fun. We've only seen two. I, th I want to say two roach basements so far this run in nearby buildings. And I've found two buildings that have uh, wasps. I'm really not happy about that. Really not happy. <laughs> I mean, they're like a block away. I got them marked. We, we're, we're here. There's wasps here and here. So, block away in each direction. We got wasps in these buildings. Super not happy about that. Alright, 11 o'clock. One more little book read session and we're, uh, we'll get moving. Let's just hit... Ah, oh, hell, let's do some dodge. Quick and easy. Noon o'clock. Stop reading. Candle out. Hungry again. More butter. A couple sips of water. Satisfied and turgid. And average, average. Good enough. I think that'll last through my sleep period. Yeah, let's give it a try. Oh, that's right. Wait, we moved our sleep spot. I forgot. 
Our sleep spot is now back here. That gets us away from the door and gets our, uh, our scent cloud away from the door as well. As you can see, with this broken, there's a, enough scent in the oh here in the stairwell that anybody that does come down is going to try to follow it. But if I stay up here, you can see it dissipate in that other area. Do, 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 do. That's how the scent cloud works. All right, now when they come down the stairs, they won't have any particular reason. But the problem is once they come downstairs, they almost never go back up again. They, the zombies just don't like going upstairs. Downstairs, they're cool with. But for some reason, most of them have a phobia of going back upstairs. So once they come down here, they're just going to stay in this little room here until I get rid of them. But uh, at least they won't know I'm over here, hopefully. We'll see. We've only slept here, I think, one or two times so far. Uh, let's do it. Are you sure you want to sleep? I am certain. Uh, no alarm necessary. Just let them gnaw on my nose to wake me up. Hey there, Arden Drub. Ah, uh, it's, it's doing us pretty well, I guess. <sighs> Look at that torso health just race to the top. Oh, there's a bar. Partial bar. <laughs> I think we're back to where we were yesterday. It only takes a couple of love taps from the zombies to get that back into the yellow. <laughs> it's going to take me literally three days probably to heal that up. Oh, yeah. Turn that back off again. Set cloud info is just for educational purposes. Hey, why are you over here? Come with me. Why are you here? Go to the murder corner. Corpse disposal spot. All right, not hearing anybody trapped over here, so nobody came down. Cool. Um, 2200, I think. I think it's dark enough at that point, and it looks like the moon... I, I think I originally said day 67. That's what my memory says. I think it might be tomorrow night where we get the full moon bonus, but we'll pop upstairs and check. Let's do that first. No, not quite yet. We're still at three. All right, so probably it's tomorrow night when it'll kick out. Uh, I think I'm just going to spend another day down here reading. We got some important things to get done. I think I'd rather do that and then run around with the moon bonus. So we'll uh, we'll burn through this day pretty quick if we can. All right, let's start a fire. Curb that inner craving. Uh, next up. Let's, let's finish dodge. I have not yet run into an LMOE that has zombies in it. I think there was some intent to make, put some zombies in, like a survivor zombie or something, but I'm not sure if that's happened yet. All right, dance, dance, dance. You are done. Let's move back to... Let's see. I really need to keep working with the Knuckles because we're trying to get our unarmed combat skill up to four for the grab break and then five for the final bonus uh, techniques on uh, Zui Kwan. It's slow going, though. We're not quite protected enough to be able to just stand there and wail away on things that are semi-dangerous to gain good XP. So it's taken us a, a bit to get this unarmed combat up. Um, yeah, all right. More butter. Let's go for... Our mechanics now. should go fairly quickly at a plus two low skill or low stat requirement uh oh lighter morale enhancement device <laughs> yeah I guess that is true that is a true statement get that done as soon as I get this update or this uh, level finished I 
I mean, big slimes, not particularly dangerous. They're not hostile, but um, I wouldn't keep one around. All right, first things first, activate. Uh, let's see. I think the lighter I might have to ride on. Oops, not the terrain. All right, so we got our morale enhancement device. Hungry a lot. I feel like I'm burning through a lot of butter. All right, so there's mechanics one. Whoa, problems of gift subs. Thank you very much, Spitelio. Uh, let me, uh, let me respond with some limited edition zombie dogs. We'll wait for the, uh, the bongs to go through. Don't, uh, whoops, candle ran out. Don't let me leave without uh, getting some Molotovs put together. I heard a clang. Stop reading. Yes. Somebody came to visit. Uh, headlamp on. Backpack off. Uh oh. Oh, there it is right there. Let's see, I could, uh. Uh, no, that won't work. Maybe standing where I'm at, so I can move that up that way, so that won't work. Stand. I can stand. Actually, I can stand here. That should do it. Go that way. We'll uh, move to there. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yep. Another rose bush zombie massacre. <laughs> I swear the whole city population of zombies are now dead. Uh, at least once from the rose bushes. Uh oh. Didn't do enough to kill him. All right. I guess I'll finish him off then. Brought me a Glock 21. Look at this. Look at this. I'm just, I'm, I'm gaster flabbed. <laughs> I'm gaster flabbed at the amount of 45 ACP that keeps just raining on top of this character. It's really weird. I don't understand it. Unload. Uh, the Glock 21. No, just unlock the, unload the magazine. I just want the loose ammo. Yeah, I just really am not sure how this is, how this is happening. I mean, we originally picked up that. No, not that. The one I'm wearing. We originally picked up this, and I commented that I wasn't likely going to find any more of this, this ammo. And now it's just, it keeps, I mean, we're up to almost over 100 rounds now. <laughs> it's just weird. Okay, uh, what was I doing? I've, I've, I forgot again. I think it was reading something or other. Head lamp off. Candle on. Uh, 53 focus. Whoops. We are losing opportunity to heal. 
No lim... Oh, <laughs> I keep trying to pick hemostatic powder. Here, let's get everything a little little touch. All right, back to reading. What time is it? Uh, one o'clock. We got a long way to go. Uh oh, portal storm. Portal storm. Oh crap! Am I gonna get? Am I gonna get stuff downstairs because we've got broken windows upstairs and no doors downstairs? Hmm. Keep reading. <laughs> Stop it. If I put earplugs in, can I not hear them? Oh, look at that. They actually... Oh, nope. See? <laughs> They're whispering in my brain. It's not actual sound. Uh, sure, stop reading. All right, shooters earmuffs aren't helping. And no, we will not be going outside right now. What are portal storms? You haven't seen one yet? Well, you're not going to see one now either. We're going to hide in the basement till it goes away. <laughs> we do not need to be trying to deal with a portal storm. It could flat out kill us. Okay. Let's get back to reading. I'll just have to keep ignore further distractions. Will it actually do it or will it keep distracting me? And we're tired, but it's we got a long way to go before I want to sleep. Hmm. Way too long way to go. Portal storms are not an optional thing. They vary in intensity. I think they they get worse as time goes by. Uh, nah, screw it. Keep reading. See if we can get this to finish up. 99, 100. All right. Uh, let's have some pork and some bacon and a cookie and some tortilla chips. Dead tired and 6 a.m. That's not great, but we can sleep most of the day away. We'll probably go 12 hours, so 6 p.m. So we'll just hide for a few hours before we head back out. All right. Uh, we're good there. I'm going to update the torso bandage anyway. Hopefully you can sleep with Portal Storm. It might be gone now. I'm not seeing any more messages here recently we'll find out you fall asleep i'm a heavy sleeper anyway interdimensional god visitors shouldn't be able to wake me up i'm a heavy sleeper what is the lore behind them i have no idea <laughs> just part of the messed up world with all the uh, thinning of dimensional borders and realities. All right, no more messages. So I'm assuming the portal storm's gone. We're still not into that final torso bar. Man, that takes a long time. Good old imperceptive healer. Still one of my favorites. All right. Are we geared up and ready to go? Oh, yeah. I told you not to let me leave without uh, making some Molotovs. So we'll get that done. Uh, 
empty bottles do I have? And I gotta empty out some bottles. Got two glass bottles ready to go. Whoops, somebody has come to visit again. Bye, backpack. Need to risk you. Do the same thing as last time. Hey, tough zombie that is a victim of a rosebush massacre. Come on, get up here. Get up here. <laughs> Punk, I'm right here. Stop banging on that thing. Hey, brought me another backpack. Uh, sure, we'll separate that out. Er, stop it. What did I put there? Other patches. Alright. Uh oh. Why is it all got the little red symbol thingy there? Is that showing me that because there's a spike board under the puddle of blood? Or is that because the spike board is like broken or something? Hmm. I guess it's because it's hiding it. Yeah, I'm not kidding about the Rosebush Massacre. I, uh, they're, they're doing a ridiculous amount of damage to the zombies. Especially the zombies that have revived. They revive with only a small portion of their original hit points, and then they step on a Rosebush again, and they instantly die again. So they just end up stacking and stacking and stacking onto my Rosebushes. All right, it's only 1547. We can't go outside yet. So uh, let's get that fire turned off. Let's get the headlamp turned off. Get the candle turned back on. And I have some more pork sticks. Another tortilla cookie. Yeah, I'm actually starting to run out of just handy food. Look at that. Already. And here we thought we had plenty. Good enough. Full and slate. Uh, let's keep rolling with under the hood. We can get to three. That will let me solve most early game small issues with maintenance to get a vehicle running. Actually, two is probably good enough, but we'll go to three just in case. We're going to want it higher anyway. One of the plans for this run is to try to get a motorcycle put together. Whoa! Oh, I forgot to put the thing back, and we got an acid zombie. Almost dead, of course. <laughs> so, worst case, I would have taken a little bit of acid damage on my feet. Uh, nothing I care about otherwise. He actually left some acid behind on the board. Back down to the hood. Uh, it, it's in experimental branch because it's experimental and they need feedback. So that's why there's not options to turn some things off. <laughs> it's also why there's a 16 quadrillion TCL labs all over the world because they want people to experience the TCL lab uh, or facility and give feedback on them. And when stable rolls around, whenever the next stable will be, by then they will have adjusted, toggled, whatever, various things. But... Portals are in. They wanted them be, to be a thing, so everybody gets to experience them and give uh, positive and negative feedback. Are caltrips more durable than rose bushes? Uh, I think rose bushes cannot be damaged by zombies. They don't treat them as obstacles. They don't try to hit them because they can move on to them, but they take damage for doing so. So, ah. Uh, 
And we're tired again. Right before, right when I was about to go outside. Damn it, I hate it when that happens. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, and we definitely have the moon advantage now, so this is exactly when I want to be out and about. All right, that got screwed up a bit. That's unfortunate timing. I'm not happy about that. Good sleep for a couple hours, try to get rid of the tired status, and then uh, roam. Let's go take a look outside before we, we make a decision, though. Also, we haven't been up to uh, check the condition of things. In a while, the house might be fully infested again. Speaking of which, if I drop the backpack, I also drop all my extra stuff that I might find useful, but then I don't have to try to... I think it's better to drop it while we do the initial clear. All right, so we don't get a moonlight bonus indoors, only on the outside. Uh, hey there, zombie child that has been thoroughly whooped. That's what we're talking about. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Day 69. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we've moved from 3 night vision to 11 night vision. This is why you want to very carefully time this first week, especially in an environment like this, so you can take advantage of this kind of a moonlight bonus. So we want to go crazy with the exploration and travel while we've got this moonlight bonus. We'll have it for the next 4 or 5 days at a pretty good rate. Um, So... I'm going to travel. Now's the time to do it. We got our torso almost back to full health. Just a little annoyed at the tired status. Uh, let's go ahead and do a, a trip around the building. We'll check the rose bushes again. Just a single one there. Rocker zombie. Tough zombie. And a single one there. There's four more there. <laughs> I swear. I'm not joking. Uh, the great Rosebush Massacre. I'm still pretty convinced it's the new weak point system taking advantage of the poor zombies and just putting a crush on them. Uh, let's see. I think the house... My house is clear now. I think that's all I'm going to check. I'm not going to worry about the rest. All right, so the big question is, do I go sleep for a couple hours? I think I am. I think I'm going to go sleep for a couple hours. Three hours... Three hours. I haven't made the cocktails yet. I wasn't planning on actually traveling. Now, it's almost two o'clock already. Damn it. With that false weird light we get at like three in the morning, four in the morning. I don't like being out too much later. I might have to give up this night. The timing just really didn't work out. Eh, we gotta be able to get something done. Alright, let's get those cocktails before I forget again. Uh, oh yeah, I was transferring bottles so I could unload them. Eh, we'll unload them into the corpse pile up here. Goodbye, Jim. Not where I said to put that. <laughs> All right, that space is full north of me, so it's putting it over to the right side. Whatever. Oops, I'm not sure what I just transferred. Six Molotov cocktails. Four minutes and seven seconds. All right. 
my six cocktails. Sports drink. That's what I grabbed on accident. And I don't need the books or the detergent. Good enough, I think. Where? Whoops. Pretty fat cash card. Don't need too many of those though. So few uses for them. Forgot to get something to eat. Uh, you got snacks. Got drinks. You got candy sticks. That's fine. We'll we'll find something. All right, we got to make some decisions. So let's see. I was looking for some fabrics. I need some synthetic fabric and more leather. I was thinking of making a trip back up to the two clothing stores to try to secure that. We haven't yet been southwest. We had what was I hoping to look for over here? Pharmacy, library. We theoretically could get into the police station lockup. Got another bookstore. We haven't yet gone and collected the engine crane and the welding cart either. This might be a good time to go get that engine crane and welding cart. Before I do, I'd really like to make a final decision on where I'm going to set up base. I think that was one of my plans. I was going to try to see what buildings we might move into. I wanted to check which kind of garage this is. Yeah, let's let's go north first. Let's go uh Kill zombies, don't kill zombies. Uh really should kill the zombies. Parts, 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 parts. That uh black ops zombie could step next to me at any moment. <laughs> Usually, oh, we have bloated zombies now. Hmm. I'm not carrying a gas mask. All right, that's a problem. Oh, thank God I can see finally. Be better if I just... Wait a minute. This is a working SWAT truck? I thought I checked this thing. Did you guys not let me check this thing? <laughs> Did I talk myself out of checking the SWAT truck? This is a working SWAT truck. We've got an engine with no faults. We've got diesel in a tank. We've got battery charge. We've got broken security. We've got all the other parts we need. we got wheels. A perfectly working SWAT truck. I could have swore I checked this thing earlier. Hmm. I think I did talk myself. I think I, for some reason, I thought it was, uh, it was a wreck. I, I don't remember. All right. Remember position, please. Perfectly good SWAT truck. Let's grab our batteries. Which batteries you got? I'll take that one. And more glass bottles. Can't have enough glass bottles. We're hungry. Let's have some cookies. And one liter. The seat has been destroyed. I can't drive it with the seat destroyed, but the seat's pretty easy to swap out, but I would never drive a limousine around anyway. But it is a good source of leather because of the leather back seats. If any of them are, ah, they're all trashed. Yeah, they're almost all trashed. We wouldn't get much out of those. This is the uh, open sewer. Shock zombies and technicians galore. It is so nice being able to see 
I really want to track down where that Black Ops came from. Alright, stay on task, Vorm. Stay on task. Oops. Come on, you guys. Come visit me inside the vehicle. Double dogged area. Backpack, another headlamp, more binoculars, duct tape wallets. I don't need any of that. Alright, as soon as we go inside, we lose our extended night vision. I'm looking for leather and synthetic fibers. I don't know all the things that might have synthetic fibers. Lycra? I don't think Lycra counts. Other sandals. I think those are too small to have much. Boots should. Eh, we'll pop them out anyway. One or two leather. Not gonna worry about chunks of rubber. pants <laughs> hiking boots I know hiking boots are good Well, that didn't provide much. Hmm. We did locate this place. That is one of the locations where I would be pretty happy to set up. I haven't set a base there up previously, and it's one of the buildings I've wanted to. So I have an option to set up there. Um... Plus, it's directly next to a subway. Once we clear it, we could uh, then go into the underground. Let's just make the call. Let's let's say I'm going to set my base up there. I need to make this call so we can get things done. So I'm a I'm I have determined we're going to make our base in that garage. Yeah, I don't want to do a fire station again. I just don't think there's enough other interesting buildings. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's pull the trigger. Let's say we're going to go to the, uh, the second floor garage. The best way to do this is going to be probably at night loading my stuff up into the vehicles. Um, do I want to do it now or would it be better to take advantage of the mobility option I have to travel and then transition a little bit later? Still haven't gotten into that. Should probably take my pickaxe and go uh, dig my way into that gunsmith shop. 